In this video, let's learn to create some soft movements. Let me just try to rig this jellyfish and let's try to move it upwards. Since our jellyfish is already rigged, let's try to animate the tentacles. As you can see here, when I'm trying to move the tentacles, it's very much rigid. It is not how we wanted it to bend. Tentacles are much more elastic and bend more organically. In order to make the deformations more organic, we can make use of the bone type option in the properties panel. Right now, it is a hard bone. Let's try to convert it to a soft bone. So click on this joint, and you can see the active bone is highlighted in orange. And when you convert it to a soft bone, you can see the indication here. The bone type is changed to a solid line. So now, when you try to move the tentacles, as you can see here, the tentacles move in a much more organic way. Now, let's try to convert all bones to soft bones. Since our tentacles are converted to soft bones, Let's try to make this jellyfish move upwards in order to animate this jellyfish to move upwards. Let us create a pose where it contracts first and then create a relaxed pose to move upwards. To achieve that pose, I'll move the root joint to move the upper body a bit downwards. Now I'll move the tentacles towards previous position so that it creates a pose as if the jellyfish is contracted. So for the jellyfish to move upwards, the tentacles have to be straight. Now I'll move the root joints so that the entire body moves upwards and then I'll bring back the tentacles to its previous position to create a stretched and relaxed pose. So this is very much a time-consuming process to move the tentacles in each and every keyframe. So in order to make this workflow easier, there's an option in Properties panel called Freeze Joint. Now, let me try to freeze the joint at the end of the tentacles and try to redo this pose. Click on this joint, and then you can enable the freeze joint. You can see the joint is turned to a bigger dark blue colored circle that indicates the joint is frozen. Let me try to freeze all the joints. Now, if you move any of its parent joint or the root joint, you can see the ends of the tentacles are always frozen. And if you want to move the end of the tentacle, you can directly interact with the frozen joint to move it. Now that we have our end of the tentacles frozen, let's try to make the jellyfish move upwards. So let me create a keyframe here and move the root joint to achieve a contracted pose. Now, let me create another keyframe and then move the root joint to stretch the tentacles. Create one more keyframe at 160th frame and then move the entire composition upwards by using selection tool. Since our poses are set, let's try to animate it using classic tween. Let me just create a group of jellyfishes by duplicating the same instance. In order to do that, you can create a new layer, rename it to jellyfish group. Now you can copy the same jellyfish and click on the other layer and paste it. Create one more instance of the same jellyfish, scale it down. So once we duplicate the jellyfish, we can also add color effects on top of it. Now to do that, click on the object, go to color effects in the properties panel, and you can add any of the effects over here. Let me add some advanced color effects here. Let's try to change the jellyfish to an orange color. Let's add a bit of green tint to the other jellyfish.
Now that we have animated all the different species in our aquarium, let's see how the final animation looks. You can click on the test movie button on the top right corner and see the final output. This is how our lively aquarium looks. Hope you've enjoyed learning the basics of layer parenting and modern rigging. Please try it out and share your animation using hashtag madewithanimate.